Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will look at DNS, the Domain Name System. DNS is used to translate names such as cisco.com or google.com to their appropriate IP addresses. For us humans, these names are easier to remember than IP addresses. And I'm sure very few of us actually know the IP address of google.com, for example. So DNS is very useful. In this lab, I have set up a DNS server, DNS1, with the host names of all the servers and networking devices and their corresponding IP addresses configured. We will use DHCP again to give PC1 and PC2 their IP addresses, as well as tell them to use DNS1 as a DNS server. Let's get started. The first step is to set up a DHCP pool on R1, like we did in the previous lab. Enable, conf t. Before I make the pool, I'll set up the excluded address range, which, if you remember, is configured outside of DHCP configuration mode. IP DHCP excluded address 192.168.1.1 192.168.1.1 Okay, now let's make the pool. IP DHCP pool, one pool. Network 192.168.1.0, 255.255.255.0. Default router 192.168.1.1. We won't specify a DNS server just yet. Now let's go on PC1. Just to make sure, I'll do a release and renew. IP config slash release ip config slash renew. Okay, now PC1 has an IP address and default gateway. However, it has no DNS server yet. Let's try to ping server 1 by IP address. Ping 10.0.0.101. The ping works. It sends the ping to its default gateway, R1, which then forwards it to server 1. Now let's try to ping by name, ping server1. Ping request could not find host server1. Without a DNS server assigned, PC1 can't translate the name server1 to the appropriate IP address. Let's fix that. Let's go back on R1 and add the DNS1 server as a DNS server to the DHCP pool. DNS server 20.0.0.100. Now I'll go back on PC1 and do another release and renew to refresh the information and get the DNS server. IP config slash release. IP config slash renew. Okay, now we've got the DNS server information. Let's try to ping server 1 and server 2 by name. Ping server 1. It can take some time to reach the DNS server to resolve the name to the IP address, but in the end, the ping works. Okay, now let's ping server2 by name as well. Ping server2. Again, the ping works. Notice that although we use the command ping server2, Immediately under, it says pinging 10.0.0.102 as the DNS server resolved the name to the proper IP address. Next is to try the same from switch1. One. Switch1 one has an IP address on its VLAN1 interface, so it can send and receive pings. However, let's see if it can do so without any further setup. Enable ping 10.0.0.101. The ping fails. Since the ping by IP address fails, there's no need to try to ping by name. If PC1 can ping server 1, why can't switch 1? Well, R1 has distributed default gateway and DNS information to PC1 via DHCP. However, it's not giving that information to switch 1. So let's manually configure R1 as switch 1's default gateway and DNS1 as switch1's DNS server. 
conf t. To specify a default gateway, use this command, ip default gateway 192.168.1.1. OK, now to specify a DNS server, use this command, ip name server 20.0.0.100. Exit. OK, let's try those pings again. Ping 10.0.0.101. The ping works this time. And now let's try to ping by name and see if our DNS configuration works. Ping server one. It works again. And actually, you can see the message here, translating server one, domain server 20.0.0.100. And then down here, the IP address of server one, 10.0.0.101. Okay. In this lab, we took a bit of a look at DNS, the domain name system. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.